that he's celebrated, believe it or not, over 50 years in the entertainment business. Started at the age of four when he left home. And uh, he opens in, what did I say? When he left home. Did he leave home at four? No. <laughs> well, he might have left home. Let's find out he if he left his father home. and his uncle. What? It was his father and his uncle. They all left home at the same time. <laughs> he opens in Las Vegas at Caesars Palace on the 6th of May, and he's off to Harris in Atlantic City. Would you welcome Sammy Davis, Jr.? Singing in the rain What a glorious feeling I'm happy again I'm laughing at clouds So dark up above Sun's in my heart And I'm ready for love Let the stormy clouds chase Everyone from the place I walk down the lane with a happy refrain, just singing, just singing in the rain. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain, I'll be singing and dancing in the rain.
great. Great to see you dance. God, it's great to see you dance. It is nice to be feeling well enough to dance. <laughs> Let me take a break. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. We're back. Thanks, Tom. You know, for a few years, you used to dance in your act all the time, especially when you started as a kid and you danced with your dad and uncle. Then for a while, you laid out of it for a number of years in the act. Yeah, I did. And now dancing, as you know, is making a resurgence all over the country. All the Broadway shows. Like yes, the, it's, it's... Started with Chorus Line, I guess. And chorus dancing Line, went 42nd on, and Street. Now sophisticated ladies. And a, and a genius of a performer, actor, by the name of Gregory Hines. Yeah, we've had Greg on the brilliant. show. And he's one of the best tap dancers around. And thank gosh, all of the old guys are coming back. Yeah. You know, we've talked about one of the fellas. Honey that's Coles. Friend, Honey Coles. Yeah. And the copacetics. You know? yeah. So I, and the man upstairs has been very kind to me because my legs still work. They're still working good. Mm -hmm. I have to warn him about three days before. You have to warm up. <laughs> His legs were going to move. <laughs> Did you just, um, obviously, when I say obviously, it came easy to not easy to you. You learned, I guess, from your dad and uncle. You've been doing it since you were... Well, in those days, before. you did, um, for some reason or other, I don't know what it was, but it was different than the kids today. They go to class, yeah. and they learn tap dancing. But in those days, you got a step from the performers you worked with. Yeah. My dad and Will Maston, my, my uncle, the man I affectionately call my uncle, were very close to Bill Robinson. Right. So guys like Bill Robinson, John W., you know, John Bubbles. John, John Bubbles. And... Uh, they would teach me steps, because I was a little kid. I was about, about the same size I am now, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> isn't, it nice never have to, isn't it nice never have to buy new clothes? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I found out that the, some of the show kids in Vegas, for instance, it used to be all ballet, but most of the kids that I know that work in the shows now, yeah. work for guys like Ron Lewis and Frederick Apicar and those guys, they, they take tap dancing lessons, and I, I think it's wild. That's great. I love it. And, it's, and for you nice young people out there, bring tap dancing back, man, because that's yeah. where it's at, because it's yeah. a good feeling to tap dance. Yeah. Good exercise, too. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do you envy or feel sorry for young, since you were a young performer? You see a lot of young kid performers nowadays. And the life is kind of tough for them, because you grow up in an adult world for the most part. Yeah. Do uh, you think it's much tougher for them? I think it's tougher in some aspects. In some aspects, I think it's not tough enough. Yeah. Because with success today can come <coughs> awfully quickly, and uh, you lose the respect of what it is to be an entertainer, right. to get out there and get applause. You don't take it for granted. I've been in show business 53 years, right. and when I go out every night before I go on the stage, I will ask someone around me, Murphy Bennett, Shirley Rhodes, mm -hmm. George, somebody, I'll say, how does it look out there tonight? Yeah. Because I'm not that sure. Yeah. You know, sure. I, I think when you get to be, oh, there's only 30,000. Only 30,000 <laughs> out there, you know? And uh, I think that's a little, that dulls the edge of hus husbandry. You yeah, know? and no matter how many times you've done the show or sung the song or done the dance, a yeah. lot of people out there are seeing it for the first time. That's it. So you got to say, hey, they haven't, they're not. And how do you dig it. for it, man? How do you yeah. dig? And I find myself going back using a lot of theatrical tricks that I learned from the performance that I watched 40 years ago to be able, because when you've done Bojangles for 10 years, how do you make it fresh for an audience who will be seeing it for the first time? Yeah. You've got to keep digging inside yourself. Did you ever say to yourself, I'm not going to do that anymore? Well, I tried it. Yeah. And, and my the head was and then the people, up. Yeah, but then the people want to see it. But you cannot deny the things that the people, you have to sing Bo. I have to sing Bojangles. Yeah. I have to. Uh, <laughs> Not tonight. We don't have time tonight. We don't, we don't have time Matter tonight. Matter of fact, Sammy was going to do um, uh, a number of his latest album, which you'll do next time after you finish in Las Vegas, okay. called The Closet, not The Closet, The Closest of Friends. <laughs> Can I see my I, album? I'm sorry, I didn't. I saw something and I thought it said Closet of Friends, and it, it's Closest of Friends. <laughs> closet, closet of Friends is on another label entirely. <laughs> it's only sold on Santa Monica Boulevard here in Hollywood, but it's... Sorry about that. The closest of friends. No, that that uh, that album is kind of special to me because the cat that did all of the. Uh... Well, I know it's special because there's nothing in it. I mean, <laughs> don't do that to me. Okay. Because I've waited all my life to do a country and western album, and that is my Your country and western too. Yeah, I did it. Went down to Nashville, man. I loved it down there. What do we got on? Everybody there? sounded like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is? 
What are you collecting lately? I've known you for years. You go through phases. You um, you collected cars for your car nut. I'm a car nut. One time you had what? A dozen or so more than a dozen. Well, I still have 14 cars. Well, how do you, what do you do with 14 cars? Oh, just look at them. I mean, <laughs> you can't drive them all. No, I I I got. When Bill Hara was alive, oh, yeah, a great where we just collection. finished uh, with Basie, uh, we're up at Harris, he and every an time I go collection. there, he has an outstanding collection. And when he found that I was a car nut, he gave me about four cars. Right. And then cars over the period of time, people knew I was into it, and I got into that. I am really into only three hobbies. I have cars, I have video collection, yeah. and I have uh, guns. Yeah. I collect Colt single actions. Yeah. You know, the Western guns and right. Winchesters. That's those are my hobbies. The jewelry, that's investments. Right. That's, that's that is not a hobby. That oh, is that. remember the last time I was up at your house and you took me into where you have this hi fi stuff and I said you have it it looked like the SAC Air Force base <laughs> in Omaha. You could have launched your first I mean you've got enough equipment there. Well it, it's it's fun when I get home. I want all the toys at the house and Altavis and I, who incidentally will be celebrating our twelfth Wedding anniversary. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Buddy. Another record. Another record. Another man. record. But uh, I like to have all the toys at home, so when I get home, which is rare, yeah. I can just sit there and enjoy. And we've got, like, I've got it fixed at my desk so I can tape. I can go from three quarter inch to yeah. beta to uh, VHS. VHS, you know, and just tape all my shows. Then I, when I get to Europe, yeah. see, you ain't really been a video nut until you have to get. The soap opera is mailed to you when you're on tour in Europe. You do that? Yes. I had every, every other day there would be a package for me <laughs> that contained uh, One Life to Live, All My Children, and General Hospital. And of course, Gilligan's Island. No Gilligan's Island. Okay, no we'll Gilligan's. be back in a moment. Stay where you are. The closet of friends. What closet? And we just have time. Just have time. It's a great kick. Always to have you on the show. Thank you. And really? I'd like to thank George and John's, all of the guys in the band for being so beautiful. Thanks, thank fellas. You. And I want to thank Bob Hope. And you're opening uh, May 6th, next week, Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace with Count Basie. Then, uh, with Count Basie? Yeah. Then the Harvest in Atlantic City. Uh, next week, uh, join us when we have... Uh... Now stay tuned for a special 90-minute late night with David Letterman. Innovative, classy entertainment, says the Baltimore Sun. Tomorrow night on NBC Magazine, a look at credit card capers, all on NBC.